Ladies and gentlemen, you've joined us live on ITV Sport from the Marshall Arena here in Milton Keynes. It's the second round action of the Kazoo Masters, brought to you by the Professional Dance Corporation. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands joining us live and the millions joining us around the world, it's time to meet the players. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of seven PDC titles, the former Lakeside Champion of the World, it's the bullet, Steven Bonte! and gentlemen from the Netherlands, taking part in his Masters debut, a World Match Play semi-finalist and a UK Open champion, the Freeze, Danny Napa! Danny Noppert is the last of this year's four Masters debutants to take to the stage. UK Open winner and Stephen Bunting looking to book the first place in the quarterfinals. Your commentary team this afternoon, Alan Warren a little, and good afternoon, Stuart Pike. Yeah, hello, Jackie. Cracking day, as you said. Cannot wait. Eight fabulous games this afternoon on ITV4, tonight on ITV3. And for Danny Noppert, finally, finally, uh, a debut in the Masters. Uh, was scheduled to make his first appearance here 12 months ago, uh, but Nopper, uh, in the end, uh, missed the tour. Well, good reason. He was about to become a, a father for the first time, so he missed last year's tournament. And uh, finally, a debut was world number eight, and what an achievement that is. Against Stephen Bunting, uh, who was involved and embroiled in a cracker with Nathan Aspinall on the opening day of the Masters here, 4-0 uh, up, eventually won 6-5, played dream darts for four legs and then uh, under pressure from Cullen finally got the job done. So the world number eight against the world number 24 and the winner will play either the world champ Michael Smith or the European champion Ross Smith, they play later on. There he is, Bunting! Confirming that 6-5 win. Not that we'll get us underway here on Saturday at the Masters at the end of the day. Eight men left standing on Sunday in with a chance hey, and gentlemen, of winning the title. Danny to throw first. Game on! Well, he's certainly a player, Stephen Bunting. He has the experience, obviously, but really starting to play like he did when he won all those titles a few years back. One really good world match last night, particularly those first four legs. I think it was about 123 average or something like that. 12, 12, 13, 16. 
Eventually had to drag himself over the line. But not that was much fancied by many for a really good run at the Ali Pali. And he played in the third round against Alan Souter. Started brilliantly. He was he was like a, a machine. He was that good. And then it was the strangest capitulation that I've seen at, at a world championship in a long, long time. Fair play to Suta. You know, he dug in and he got the job done. But Noppert, you know, went from hero to zero. You know, th there was nothing in between. Complete control at, the, at that moment as but well. it all Mr. went, Alan. It yeah, he did, really yeah. strange. It was, it and, was and, and Alan Suta, as you said, took advantage. But he saw the opening there and then he started to play well. He's bumped in, looking for a max. Good scoring leg from Stephen here. Yeah, a huge disappointment that for Nopper because he was he was superb, and then all of a sudden he wasn't. <laughs> it, was, it was all very strange. There a chance here for Bunting, who made a brilliant start, breaking the Joe Cullen throw in the first round on Friday night. Double six to do likewise. Sixty-nine. Well, terrific scoring leg. Just couldn't hit the double 12 or the double 6. This is a, a sequence, though. 15 yes, with that UK Open win to it. He had a pretty good first half of the season, didn't he? Just dropped off a little bit. Game shot, it. first leg. Stephen Manton. Yeah, so Bunting strikes first Second again with a break of throw. First. Game on. Plus the... The second round here and the quarterfinals on Sunday afternoon. Best of 19, first to 10. The semi finals and final on Sunday night. First to 11, best of 21. Yeah, Bunting's Ali Pally was exceptional. Lost to Michael Smith in the quarterfinals. Missed a lot of chances. 48. But it was a, a real breakthrough moment for, for Danny Noppert, of course, on, on ITV4 last. Year last March, ten months ago, when he won the UK Open, beat Michael Smith in a deciding leg. Four one forties already. All we've seen from Noppert is two tons. Real struggle for the Dutchman. Yeah, he's got to get in there pretty quickly. And again, we mentioned it with wow. this event. We normally get that break between. The World Championships and the Masters at the end of January or early February. But some players played in hunting, looking for another. Well, they get it on this occasion. I was going to say another 140. But he's up the ante. Gets to Max. Well, that's better from Lopper. He still hasn't left to finish. Nobody up. Put him in good stead for the rest of the match. Trouble 20 for double 18. Oh, marvellous sit from Stephen Bunting. Well, his best two visits are 180 and 133 to lead tops, but it may make no difference at all for Noppert. Well, it just shows you, doesn't it, when the game's going so well. But it also shows you, if you hang on in there in a leg, you may get a chance. And Nopper had the most unexpected of chances. Bunting missing three darts for 2 0. But yeah, 180, 133. Tops with the first dart. Much more like it for Danny Nopper. Yeah, getting that maximum. Helps immensely because you know you found your range. Probably almost expected not to have a shot of the double, really. But when it came, he was ready. 99. Just interested to know. I mean, we, we, we touched on Moppet's total blowout capitulation at the World Championship. I'm sure it, it's happened to you in your career. What happens when you, you, you're playing so well? I mean, and he what so well. And all of a sudden, you, you, you can't hit a nail. You take your mind off it because you're so 
angry at yourself for missing a big opportunity when you know, apart from being in total control, you've got control of your opponent, and then you start seeing him playing well, and it has a has that double jeopardy in the back of your mind. It's all in the head, really. Yes, absolutely. One run on 34. Yeah, very interesting. It wasn't for Moppet, but he's come alive in this second round match. Cross against Anderson, Clayton against Wade, Humphreys taking on Dobie. That's the menu for Saturday afternoon at the Masters. Tasty treat. Just looking for, well, I was just going to say a straight ton, but that's just changed things. May it stay there, possibly, may even the ball. 46. Caught in two mines, end up in no man's land. Well, that's what happens though, you're just looking for an easy straight ton to leave tops. Now he's got some work to do, depending on what pressure Stephen Bunting puts on that visit. And that is going to be big pressure. Well, that last dart may, may make a difference as well for Bunting and for Nopper. He may go double double here. He has tops. Oh, fantastic from Nopper. What a finish. Scratchy in the first leg, but that is absolutely superb from Danny Nopper. Double double. 94 2 1. Nice to see the expression as well. Gave it a big growl at the end. Gene himself up. He knows that was a big moment in the early part of this encounter. Bunting was terrific early on. Like he was going to go 2 0 ahead. Now he's 2 1 behind, and Danny Noppert has found his scoring. Well, those three missed darts from Bunting. He found himself on double 18, and you rarely see Stephen Bunting on double 18. But once you go inside, there's always the danger you go inside on, on double 9, and that's what happened. Yeah, good stuff. Both averaging over a ton in the early stages of this game. Yeah, great start. One only. Every time they've ever played in a big TV event, Players' Championship quarter-final, way back in 2018, Noppet won that. That was in the early stages of Noppet's career in the PDC. Just get how, how well Noppet's done, Alan, in 2020, hadn't qualified for 26. the Masters. He managed to do really well, go up to number 27 in the world. But here he is now, Danny Nopper, in the elite. Eighth in the world. Yes, fantastic achievement. He'll be hoping to stay around there or even get higher. He's certainly got the game. Sixteen. Stephen, you require 96. Well, he went for the ball and he went for 25 to try and leave a finish, but he's left double 18 again this time. And you can see there the frustration from Bunting as he put his hand up and nailed it first dart. 96 2 dart finish, and that was the, the double that gave him all the trouble earlier in the game. 55. I generally feel that players find it easier when you've got a sequence of a throw rather than going straight a double with three darts. Bunting has found his range again. <laughs> his second. Looks to be a big leg for Bunting to win before the first break. 96. Breaks after five and ten throughout the day in these best of 19 matches. 58. Definitely a different player than he was at the start of the season, Stephen Bunting. It just shows you what a good performance in a big event can do. 134. Yeah, he was scratchy, wasn't he, for a lot of 2022 Bunting. But this isn't scratchy. Seven 140s to so just a solitary one from Danny Nopper. Bunting averaging 108, but may yet go into the break trailing. 100. 
No, big finishes on offer for both players. Stephen Bunting, first player with the attempt. One, two, three. Should start on trouble 19. Trouble 18 for the ball. Not to be. So chance here for Nopper, as you mentioned. The lower average could be three two ahead. Lower average by 11 points. Can he find the treble 20? It was, it was the worst possible place for Nopper. And that was a last dart was thrown with resignation, wasn't it? Yes, he, he tried to find the angle and it was quite some distance away. Should be one down at tops. Game shown the oh, superbly done. And he knows how important that is. And to break a throw right on the first break. 104 average. And um, something you would say deservedly ahead. Cracking game to start day two in the Masters. Stephen Bunting leading down. It's very much the same here for Bunting. It's just all about confidence. Isn't it? You know, don't forget, is it three years ago that he he he, he reached such a low after the high of during the PDC, he'd reached such a low that he was going to pack it in. As he hits another, a third one actually, but he was not not too long ago close to packing the sport in altogether. Yes, a lot of players go through that. Stuart, and it's very difficult to get them back up there really it's all down to them in the end they've got to put more work in whether that's practicing on the board or even some kind of psychological intervention as an example wow. but uh, to be fair to him he's fought his way back and and, and now happy in his game because he's playing well and that's that's what happens with all the players everybody's going to have a slump at some point doesn't matter who you are michael van Gogh's had one Got himself now back at the top. Interesting as well that he, he didn't leave the stage, Stephen Bunting, during the break. He stayed up there One. throwing away. Yep, he did. Stayed on the stage. It just, it just fascinates me in house for the brilliant from Doppler. Still hasn't left it. A finish. That happened in, in leg two and somehow he won it. It's always fascinated me in the say the 20 odd years that I've, I've been lucky enough to do this as bunting eyes up double 18 for a, that would have been another finish the, the mental side of the game and the highs and the lows and you now all the players are extremely talented because they must be to reach this level but how the form fluctuates purely because of the mental side purely because of what's going on between the two ears Game shown the sixth leg. No, no messing leg, on that occasion up. on double 18. It's mainly and probably his only mistake in the match, that second leg. There's three legs on the spin now for Stephen Bunting. you would expect at 24 in the world that well, a lot of players in that sort of 20 to 30 bracket right on, that the aim for this year has got to be top 16. Yes, I think most players that are outside that top 16, that is right on, the first goal, it has to be, yeah. because of, of the variety of things that you can get by being in the top 16. The benefits, the rewards. Yeah. Switch. Yeah, he's done that a few times, hasn't he? he has, Just yeah. underneath the 96. blocker. Stephen, you require 170. A full set needed for Bunting. Yeah, 
go for Bolt with the last one. Bolt with the left tops, but that's okay. Leads a two data. He's going for all the 18s. There's was a long way off of that last one. Open bed as well. Yeah, it flicked the flight on the way through, didn't it? Well, he's missed a 25. So one dart at tops. 14 by. Clumsy, careless. You require 18. For sure. Should be a good marker. Should be another good marker. Nice. But it wasn't. Stephen, you require 20. Well, those two, the first two darts were really, really well thrown. Sometimes you need a bit of luck. Noppet didn't have it. I think at that moment there, he was throwing at the double instead of the dart, and that, that maybe would have deflected it into the double. But another leg for Bunting. Now from 2 1 behind, four consecutive legs of throwing to make it 6 2. Still averaging, by the way, 105 Stephen Bunting as we come into leg eight of this match. And look at that, look how far Nopper is behind. One run and, 31. Yeah, and, and, and it's not because of missed doubles. He's only had six attempts at a double hit, two, obviously. It's just Stephen Bunting scoring is outstanding. One run and 40. Eight tons. Eight ton forties, three one eighties. Um, he's had twice as many darts and a double than his Dutch opponent. Well, if you can carry on with this form, not just in this tournament, but the start of the season imminent in a couple of weeks' time. One right out! You just want to keep an eye out for. Yeah, it's the it's the bread and butter, the players' championship events. One hundred. They're going to require eighty-seven. But possible eleven or twelve darts are here for another leg. He's, he's, he's suddenly decided he likes double eight. Fifty-one. He'll return. Oh, nothing wrong with his troubles at all. Just needs to maybe tidy up on the doubles, but because of his scoring, he's getting Stephen more opportunities. 36. When he played Michael Smith in the in the World Quarter Final, his scoring was was right up there. But this is where he lost out to Smith. He could have split it. Oh, he went to split it with two and double eight. Danny, you require wow! What an unexpected chance here for Nopper. Has to get the treble. No, not happening for Danny Nopper. Oh, Stephen Bunting, that last visit to the board. Well, he's, 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 he's had eight attempts at this yeah. and hit it twice. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well explained, Stephen. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what the heck was I doing on the throw before? But all well for him that ends well. Five consecutive legs now for, for Bunting, still averaging 102. And at the moment, it seems on his merry way to the quarter-finals of the Masters. Yes, as, as we saw yesterday, he, well, magnificent Memphis four legs. We've mentioned it on two or three occasions already. Then he, he just dipped a little bit. He hasn't really dipped in this match, just on occasions missed a couple of doubles here and there. Maintained the scoring. Right 37. If you maintain the scoring, the opportunities will be there. That's a really good dart. Still finds its way to the target he wanted. Well, Stephen Bunting, not too many these days who, who throw from right on the edge of the hockey. 98. Have a look here, as far as you can go. Look, as far as you can possibly go. But he moved over to the middle there and he still found the target that he wanted. That's one of the lightest darts on the surface yes, they are. as well, doesn't he? Danny, you Feather like, aren't they? 
throwing a pencil. Oh, doesn't want to make this awkward. And he has done. I can't believe it. Big mistake there. So despite Stephen Bunting being on 262, you've seen what's just happened then. Maybe it just sniffs an opportunity. One right on 30th. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. Double eight. One right on so the seventh dart that he's had at a double in this match. Well, that was almost one of those moments of where did that one come from because his game just hasn't been there since going two on the head in that first session. Game show in the ninth leg. Well, he stopped the rock. He's lost five on the spin. Game on. Biggest leg of the game coming up here for me. Can not but find a way or can bunting. Go three away from the winning line. Yes, he needs to get better with the scoring. Danny Nopper in this leg. Good second. Well, just about okay. But the bullet is firing. Another maximum. Keeping his stronghold over Danny Noppert. Back comes Noppert again. That just shows you the importance of this leg. 6 4 or 7 3. Huge, huge swing. Has to be thinking two visits for this 2 2 1. Brilliant. Well, he's giving himself a chance here. 81 after nine on the bunting throw. He's now. Hoping that Danny Noppert doesn't take the 81 out. Terrific scoring leg. He's faulted on doubles recently. Huge dart. Massive. Game it's a 12 dart break of throw for Danny Noppert. All of a sudden, back to back legs for the Dutchman. And there we have it. Bunting averaging nearly 101, but Noppert has. Well Ladies and gentlemen, the 11th leg, Danny to throw first. Keeping Game himself on. in the match against his opponent who's scoring well. Still averaging over 100. You've not put what's the... 90 Really get back into this and make a... Make a big run at Bunting. He's got to get that first dart right. One Too many of Noppet's first darts are going below the treble 20 which doesn't leave him any room for manoeuvre. Overcompensating there, and that's where he wants to be. Great adjustment. Perfect Felty. summation, really, of, yeah. of where Noppet likes to be and the rewards that come with it. Anything that go below the treble 20 bed and invariably has to go down for cover. 45. In a good position in this leg. And again... Perfect life for Danny Noppert. Should switch to 18s. One round 34. Looking good. Ninety-five. Danny, you require 134. Worth mentioning, Bunting still averaging 100, but he may be about to be pegged back to just one. Ninety-four. Yeah, good solid leg from Danny Noppert. One run on 40. Tenth, 140 from Bunting. Game shot in the 11th leg. 
Then in up it. 12 legs, Stephen a throw first. The three straight legs. Came on. For Noppert from 6 2 down, back to within one. Yes, marvellous effort. It didn't look likely at the time, no, did it? And, and we remember when Cullen started coming back. Uh, sorry. When Aspinall started coming back on the opening night from 4 0 down, Bunting just wobbled a bit, didn't he? And that's where he wants to be. It's going pretty well here for Danny Moffat. He's certainly playing the darts at the level we expect from the world number eight. One run on Fulton. See the response here from Stephen Bunting. Now he's under a bit of pressure. He's under a lot of pressure. One run on Fulton. Oh, surprised that one went just underneath. It was a good angle with the first two darts. Noppet now averaging 100. 58. He has up the ante after five legs. Sorry, after we're looking at eight legs, he was around 94. So now he's over 100. Bunting to drop beneath the 100 mark, only just. 100. It just shows you how quickly the game can change over these long distance matches. Danny require 81. Oh, good thinking from Bunting to leave a big finish. Not at 81. This is against the throw, don't forget. Double 13. Game shot. Another brilliant leg. 12 dart break of throw. The last Let's two times that Danny Stephen Bunting first. has had the darts, Danny Nopper has broken him in 12 darts on both occasions. And he's won four on the spin, and incredibly, what a turnaround. Noppert now throwing for the lead. Well, it just never looked likely because Stephen Bunting was scoring so heavily. Danny Noppert just couldn't find his range. He's certainly found his range now. One run on Fulton. Incredibly, this is for the lead. He led it 2-1. Five, five consecutive legs. The bunting to lead 6 2. 97. Um, Nopper here looking for five of his own. He's finding the top of the wire, isn't he? One right on 31. And the cover shots. Yeah. Amazing what a bit of confidence can do. Bit of belief. Couple of brilliant legs against the throw, you have to say, from Nopper. Bunting scoring has just dropped off a tad. Not too much, but enough for Noppert to take advantage. That first dart, all important, Alan. Yep. All important. Got carried away with the last one, though. He should be mad at himself as well because he, he threw that without any direction yep. or purpose. We've seen Noppert in the past with a blind 180. 58. Not the time for that. Danny, you require 105. Another 15. 53. Just about OK. Bunting 140 minimum. 180 would be a belter for Bunting. 95. He's got to keep on top of, top of it, though, because we mentioned, or you mentioned earlier, that in that match in the World Championships... Well, he's missed the big 12, so only one dart. Game That's all the he needs. Leg. Oh, <laughs> smiling away there. We mentioned you know, the World legs. Championships Stay where he was in first. such Game a good on. place on the hockey, scoring well, in a good position, and then all of a sudden he missed a few darts at a double and his game just went completely. Well, five consecutive legs from Bunting to lead 6-2. Five consecutive One legs here from Noppert to hit the front at 7-6. Huge leg here for Stephen Bunting. 
On throw, decent first visit. Second one's not bad either. One run on Fulton! Two back to back, two treble visits for Bunting. Yeah, against Aspinall under enormous pressure, he did well to hold it all together to win that deciding leg. Switch. Looks like an important leg for Bunting to win this. And he's not being pressurised at all. Just have a bit of time. Should stay there. And then down to the 16s or 8s. Nice settling 13 dart holder throw. Get him back in business. Stephen the require 32. Game shot on a full tank leg. 15 will do. 15 leg. 7 all. Yes, I think on the whole, Stephen Bunting will probably know that his game's in a really good place, but he knows there's moments there he needs to tidy up. We mentioned the World Championship with Michael Smith, the game last night against Nathan Aspinall, and it's been evident in this encounter against Danny Nopper. Well, at some stage... Bunting needs to break throw again if he wants to win. If not a holes throw, he wins. One it's never, 30. ever as easy as that, is it? <laughs> never. Still plenty to happen. Bunting seems to have got his scoring back together. Looking, he doesn't want Moppet. Yeah, he's now looking at breaking the throw and getting ahead at a crucial moment in the match, really. One Thought he might have stayed at the trouble 19. One three four would have left a ton, but in his mind, he's probably. Calculating and 132 isn't a bad finish. No. So if it hit, hit the single 19, he'd have gone for the bull anyway. So, may just have been an automatic trigger there for Bunting. But 132 for a break and another. Oh, good, Stevie boy. Well, that was brilliant with those two balls, but he may lose the leg. Awkward. Game oh, what a shot from Nopper. He is five out of five on tops, and that is a heartbreaker for Bunting. He hasn't missed tops in the entire game, and he deserves to celebrate after Bunting just missed a 1 3 2. Look at that celebration from Danny Nopper. He absolutely gave it the big one there. He knows how important that leg was. One. Well, that's a real deflating moment, isn't it, for, for Bunty? Oh, yeah. Such a high. Ball, ball. Just missed a double 16. But five out of five on top for Danny Nopper. One run on Fulton. Normally quite quiet, isn't he? Danny Nopper on the hockey, but yeah. he really gave it the big one there. He so really he should. Did. Well, absolutely, yes. That's what we want to see. One hundred and twenty-five. Absolutely. I remember watching you. You used to turn around and give it large into your opponent's face, didn't you? That was that was that was a mark of your. You used Idiots. to. You used to. You were a wind-up merchant. <laughs> when you gave it big, I remember. Oh, I'm old enough to remember. I loved it. <laughs>
Absolutely. Bunting's loving this. One man of Fulton! He's come back to over 100 average, Stephen Bunting. But joking apart, it's the thrill, the absolute thrill and the buzz of doing something as special Stephen as that wild, in a moment as important six. as that. Still averaging nearly 101, Stephen Bunting. That's how good he's been. But he's scrambling here to stay in it. One hundred. Stephen, you require 58. Game show on the 16th leg. That's a three for a place in the Masters quarter-final. Well, terrific match this has been so far. We're getting close to that finishing line. One hundred. Who can hold it together? Fourteen one forties for Bunting, double that of his opponent. Again, we'll have to come down. That two poor darts from Nopper. Ninety-three rescues it with the last one. Yes, just that travel eighteen keeps him in a good position. It depends what Bunting gets here. Wow. OK, again. that's good. Yep, last dart again for Bunting, important. We can't leave a finish. Well, that's OK again. Just At this stage... Nervous moments here. Yeah. Advantage Bunting. Just. Sixteen. Maybe not now. Well, that can change in one throw. Exactly. That's the, exactly the point yeah. I was going to make. It can all change in three darts. May have to move here. Yeah. Oh, good. Trouble 19 there. 96. And again, just about OK. Here we go, Danny Nopper, 12 for tops, it's been marvellous on tops in the whole of this match, and that continues, Danny Nopper, 18th leg, Stephen the front first, 6 out of 6 on tops for Nopper. What a great start to the well, afternoon. Here at the Masters in Milton Keynes. One hundred. Bunting trying to hold throw here to take it to a last leg decider. He won't be happy with that last dart there. 60% on the doubles for Danny Nopper. Six of those on tops. No pressure. He'd love to win it here, Nopper. We may have to have one leg to decide it. Better from Stephen Bunting after that last visit. In, in command of this leg to take it to that last leg decider. 16, 140. There we go. Nopper, pretty good on the ton pluses. One round of 30. 
Well, Stephen Bunting looking good here to level at nine apiece. Well, not that would have the dance. The I'll tell you what, at 6 2 down, if you gave him a deciding leg with him throwing first, he would have taken it without a shadow of a doubt. 13 Darter. So here we go. One leg of darts to decide who goes through to the Masters quarter final. Well, this is it. Brilliant from both players all the way through this match. One Bunting averaging nearly 101. Can we transfer those numbers into the win? 58. Oh dear. Well, that started with having to move down to the 19s because he's been prolific on the treble 20. One and Advantage, the Dutchman. Huge. Huge advantage now. And again, Stevens having to move down for the 19s. On this occasion, he gets the trouble 19. Looks like he's going back upstairs. 97. Well, that means that he can't leave a finish on his next visit, even with the best visit of all. But Noppet's now got to hold it together. He looked like he was trying to work it out, didn't he? Obviously didn't quite calculate correctly. Well, Noppet wants to stay there to try and leave a 170, but accepting that he can't find a way through. And, well, nervy, edgy darts from both. He was caught in two minds there and paid the price. And all of a sudden, Bunting could be back in business. Well, yes, as you said, he can't leave a finish, but he can get back in the leg. Oh, that'll help. Wonderful. 17. Back in the leg. Wow. And Nopper again falling short. This is very edgy now from Danny Nopper. 57. That's two visits. Two visits without a big treble. Really poor from Nopper. Bunting looking at six darts from 206. Well, after the first six darts from Danny Nopper, it looked like. A mountain to climb for Stephen Bunting, but as you said, he's getting nervous up there. It is not surprising. The tension, but what about this? Can he win it with the 170? Oh, oh Danny Nopper! He was that close. He was that close. Stephen, you require 146. Great effort acknowledged by Stephen Bunting now. It's down to the bullet. One four six. Can't start the sequence. And it's back in Noppet's hands. 16. He was that Can close. He, he was 25. that close. Can he seal the deal? Game. And he can. That is a terrific Danny win Noppet. from Danny Noppet to meet Stephen Bunting. Bunting average just shy of a hundred. He led six two, but Danny Nopper came back and back and back with a couple of twelve darts and two tough plus finishes. Six out of six on top. Um, Nopper is the first back through to the. Master.